and welcome back to Teacher Gimbal's channel. Today we'll be going over Geometry Unit 1, Lesson 6, Practice. I did all of these constructions and thought them through so you don't have to, so let's get started. Problem 1. Which of the following constructions would help construct a line passing through point C that is perpendicular to line AB? So let's go ahead and look at our, all of our answer choices. We could construct an equilateral triangle with one side AB. Well, we just end up with a triangle. I'm not sure that would help. Construct a hexagon with one side BC. Okay, we'd have a hexagon, but also wouldn't really help. Construct a perpendicular bisector through C. Huh, we could do a perpendicular bisector through C. Mm, I feel like that would get us a perpendicular line. Or construct a square one side AB. Well, looking at our answer choices, only one of these creates a perpendicular line, and that is C. So, Constructing a perpendicular line through C would be construct a perpendicular bisector through C, and it would perpendicularly bisect any segment that you'd like to bisect on AB. All right, next question. Problem two. Two distinct lines, L and M. For some reason, we always use uh, script letters for lines. That's just kind of the notation. Are perpendicular to the same line N. Select all the true statements. So we've got line N, script line N, fancy line N. And then we have two lines that are both perpendicular. So we're going to call this one L, and we're going to call this one fancy M. Um, so this is fancy N, so N, and this is fancy M. Let's see which are all true. And we know that they're perpendicular both to line N, here and here. Line L and N are perpendicular. Yes. Oh, I skipped A by accident. Line L and M are perpendicular. Well, if they're both perpendicular to N, they cannot be perpendicular to each other. They're actually parallel. Lines M and N are perpendicular. Yes, they're perpendicular to the same line N. Lines L and M are parallel. Yes, we have the same angle, which makes parallel lines. Lines L and N are parallel. Nope, they're perpendicular. Lines M and N are parallel. Nope, they're also perpendicular. All right, so the hardest part here is hearing the difference between L and M. If you draw a picture, it makes these questions like infinitely easier. Problem three. The diagram is a straight edge and compass construction of bisector of angle BAC. So this is the dude who's getting bisected. Only angle BAC is given. Explain the steps of the construction in order. Include a step for each new point. So we've got B, A, and then C is like chilling out over here somewhere. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to redo the construction on this screen. You're going to listen and write down the answers yourself because I'm not writing down all of these words. So step number one, I am going to construct a circle with radius AB. I'm going to take this intersection, which is B, because I used AB. I'm going to take this intersection, which is D. And now I have these two intersections. I am then going to identify this line right here, which is not drawn in the picture. And I'm going to draw a circle D with center D with radius BD right here. That is a terrible circle. Okay, so it's right there. So that is circle D with center D, radius BD is over there. And then I'm going to draw circle B with the radius BD and center B. So he's right over there. Now I'm going to identify the intersections of circle B and circle D. And I'm going to give them names. This guy is going to be F and this intersection down here is going to be E. I am now going to connect with a straight edge E and F. And if you do it correctly, it goes through A, and that is your bisector. All right, so pause the video and go over that if you need to go over it. But we drew three circles, identified a few intersections, and drew a line with a straight edge. All right, let's go on to the next question. These look way more complicated than they actually are. Problem four. A diagram, the diagram is a straight edge and compass construction of a line perpendicular to line AB passing through point C. So we have point C over here. We have line AB, this is AB, 
and then this line is perpendicular, so I'm going to draw a little box. Which segment has the same length as segment EA? Well, this guy is perpendicular. And if we learn something about a perpendicular bisector, all the points are equidistance. Um, but let's think, is this guy a perpendicular bisector to anything? Well, I see circle A with this radius and circle D with this radius. And I'm going to highlight huh, these two circles here. And this line down the middle, that makes my perpendicular bisector that we should recognize from one of the earlier lessons. And we know that the points from the equi our equidistance, the points on the line, so any point, two points on these lines are equidistance from the same point on the perpendicular bisector. So this distance over here has to be the same distance over there because they're the same distance to point E on the perpendicular bisector of AD, which means AEA is going to be equal to ED. Now, again, these are complex. So if you have a problem, you have to go back and check your perpendicular bisector definitions um, and that the, the idea about the points on a perpendicular bisector being equidistance to the points on the bisector on the line that's being bisected. Um, or just pause this video and go back and watch it through a few times to see if you can get the correct answer on your own. Let's go on to the next question. The diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. Which triangle is equilateral? Explain how you know. Well, I'm assuming it means of the two highlighted triangles, and I immediately want to say this one, but that's just me looking at it and we don't trust our eyes. So I see a lot of circles and I see a lot of radiuses. And I see this radius is the same as this radius. Oh, oh, oh. we're going to mark them, which is the same as this radius, oh, oh. which is the same as this radius. Oh, oh. Now, this radius of this circle is also a radius of this guy. Because I was just originally, I was using, well, I was using this circle over here. So, so these pink dudes are the same radiuses of this yellow circle, or let's make them pink. So we know that they're equal. And then I know this guy is equal to this guy because of this middle circle over here. And I know this guy is equal to this guy because of this, why they're all the same color, of this pink dude over here. Now, moving on, we have this circle this guy and this guy are also a radius. That's pretty easy to see. And we have this circle. Oh my goodness, now it's no longer easy to see. This guy and this guy are the radius. So these shapes just start to look familiar because we've done so many equilateral triangles. So if you're having a hard time seeing all of these radiuses, so basically this guy is the same as this guy, same as this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So each line segment is two radiuses. And if they're all two radiuses, that means they're all the same. So they're all equilateral. So this would create an equilateral triangle. If you have a hard time seeing this, you need to go back and become really familiar with constructions of equilateral triangles, because recognizing these circles and the radiuses is half the battle. Now this dude over here, I immediately see those guys are the same radius. And this dude, he's a radius of nothing. So I can't assume that he's equal. So I cannot assume that that guy's an equilateral triangle. All right, problem number six. In the construction, A is the center of one circle and B is the center of another. Name the segments of the diagram that have the same length as segments A, B. So again, we have this radius here, which is gonna be the same as this radius, which is gonna be the same as this radius. So AB is the same as CA, which is this dude, same as AD, which is that dude. This guy doesn't have a name over here, but he'd also be the same as this guy over here. So I'm going to put AF in parentheses, even though F's not mentioned in the diagram, but he's equal. Now we have a second circle. So let's erase all of this, which is circle B. And this radius right here is the same as this radius, is the same as this radius, the same as this radius. So we got CB, BD. And let's call this guy E, 
and in parentheses BE. So all of these guys have the same radius as AB, so all of them are the same length. And this goes back to the fact that when you have a circle, all of the radiuses are the same length, they're congruent. And that's our definition of circles. Problem number seven. The diagram is a straight edge and compass construction. A is the center of one circle and B is the center of the other. Name a pair of perpendicular line segments. Well, we have B is the center with radius AB and A is the center of radius A with radius AB also. You should start recognizing these intersecting circles right here as a perpendicular bisector construction, construction, which means he has intersects at a 90 degree angle. And it also means that line AB is bisected, which tells us that AM is the same length or is congruent to MB. Now, if you haven't learned this notation, just say AM is the same length as MB. But that is not what question one asks. That was what question two asks. Question one said name a pair of perpendicular sound segments. So for one, we know that AB, we're going to use geometric notation. This little symbol means is perpendicular to, it's perpendicular lines. AB is perpendicular to CD because that is our perpendicular bisector. Um, we don't know about CD being bisected, so we're not going to make any assumptions about anything else being bisected or actually congruent. All right, next question. And this is our last question. A, B, and C are the centers of three circles. Select all the segments that are congruent to A, B. So let's go ahead and figure this out. We have A, B, and C. A. B and C. Now what I see right here is this radius of circle A is also the radius of circle B, which also is the radius of circle C, which anything that is a radius that emanates from either center C, A, or B are all going to be the same segments. So I'm going to quickly highlight from center A, C, I see these three radiuses from A, this is a radius, this is a radius, this is a radius, that's a radius. And from B, these two are radiuses, this is a radius, and that's a radius. So every single one of those segments are the same. Let's go ahead and find out which ones. Is HF the same as AB? No, because that goes all the way across. Is HA the same as AB? He's highlighted, so yes. Is And he's a radius. Is CE? CE, nope. He's not highlighted, he's not a radius, he's not our friend. Is CD, CD, that goes all the way down, also not highlighted, also not a radius, also not our friend. BD, BD is a radius of circle B, so yep. And this last guy down here is BF. BF, he's a friend, so yep. So answers are B, E, and F. Um, so as you see, you start seeing the same constructions of perpendicular bisectors, equilateral triangles, and you're going to be seeing these over and over again for these construction questions. So make sure if once you're very familiar with this, all of these questions become a lot easier. If you have any questions about constructions, please go ahead, put them in the comments, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe in this corner, like all the way over here. I got you. In this corner right here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.